have to learn to live with fire. And the way to do it is to allow fire back on the landscape when we can. Intense wildfires continue to burn across western North America. It's part of a larger trend toward lengthening fire seasons as well as more intense wildfires as the climate changes. But there's another reason that fires are burning more intensely in some areas, and that reason is firefighting itself. In the past, wildfires burned through many forested regions at regular intervals, helping to clean up the forest floor of deadfall and bring about new growth of native plant species. Some species of tree have even adapted to become dependent on wildfire for reproduction. When human communities and infrastructure began to encroach on and develop deeper into forests and wildlands, our wildfire suppression techniques became centered around a single basic goal, put the fire out at all costs. As a result, forests in many areas, including parts of BC and Alberta, began to become more crowded, which in turn made them more susceptible to the effects of drought and disease. The subsequent buildup of fuel increased the likelihood of extremely intense wildfires, which can actually be deadly for trees, requiring a long time for forest ecosystems to recover. Moreover, extremely intense wildfires can be next to impossible to stop, meaning threats to human communities and infrastructure built into wildland regions could increase in the coming years. So is there anything that can be done to remedy this situation? So there are things we can do, and preventing human-caused fires is the easiest and most cost-effective way. So that's the first thing we can harden power lines and railways and use fire bans and forest closures. There's a program called Fire Smart Canada, that has guidelines or principles, there's seven of them, to help homeowners and communities reduce the risk of fire. Some jurisdictions such as Parks Canada and other provincial wildfire agencies have switched to a modified type response that allows lower priority remote fires to burn more naturally. Prescribed burning is also an option in cooler times of the year when plans are carefully made to allow wildfires to burn at a lower intensity in specific areas. But as a changing climate brings about more intense wildfires and potential lightning occurrences at the same time that human communities continue to develop into wildland areas, a balanced approach to managing the risks of wildfire will have to be considered.